Yes, everyone, welcome back to Wales, and more specifically, yes, that's right, we're still in Wrexham, and this review comes from Everland Fish and Chips. Now, you don't have to look online much in Wrexham's uh, thriving fast food scene to see these guys are talked about a lot. And this is the product, bruv. And uh, those of you watching at home, if you think, is Matt uh, operating under some sort of crazy lighting system? How will they illuminate themselves in such dark light? Winter is here. Calamers seems to have manufactured uh, getting some sort of LED light on top of his camera rig and a mic. The levels of production from Food Review Club at the moment are just, quite frankly, staggering. Now, Callum, back to the food. Large fish, chips, six pounds 50. Madness. It is double that where I live. Double. Mental. Even if it's no good, great price. Now I've got on top of that, the Chinese style curry sauce. That's the first you pour no, it I, I, no, he, he said, would you like, which one would you like, the regular curry sauce or the Chinese style? And I said, back to him, like a game of uh, ordering tennis. What would you recommend? And he says, I think the Chinese sauce is the best. And do you know what? It might bring a bit of sweetness to the party. Did so he, let's did go, bro. Did he pour it on or did he pour it on? He poured it on. Oh, okay. Uh, very liberal pouring, by the way, as you can see. Up she goes. How good is it to be in Wales, by the way? Does Wrexham count as Wales, Callum? Yes, it's over the border. It is over the yes, border, but only just. The signs aren't in English. Well, they are, but it, half in English. What a question for Rexonians. Do you class yourself as Welsh, really? Get in the comments, let me know. You might really... There's a sign Maybe behind me, ask. and it's, half of it's in Welsh, half of it's in English. OK. So OK, that's good to know. It's Wales. All right, that's good to know. It's, it's a pleasure to be here anyway. OK. Oh, yeah. That curry sauce is not my favourite. Oh. And it's all over the food. That's the entire review. <laughs> Something there. Hold oh, on. Give it a chance. OK. False alarm. Nope. That was just a really salty chip. Oh, OK. That absolutely annihilated that mouthful. The curry sauce is actually good. Yeah, OK. It's good. Really tasty. Let's try and get some without the curry sauce on. They uh, look probably not as crispy as I'd like, but sometimes this is probably the sort of fish and chips you really look for. That was a f***ing hot chip. All right, drink watch. This is probably might even be the star of the show. You ready? No. Dandelion and burdock. An absolute classic. Ben Shaw's. Struggling. That's yeah, struggling. <laughs> ben Shaw's. Welcome back to Food Review Club. Ah, what a classic drink that is. Fan bloody tastic. Now, Callum, let's go on with the fish. I suppose this is the real main event. Let's see how we get on here. Oh, okay. All right, so what I can sort of tell you. Yes, bro. The batter is the case style, which you guys know is not my favorite. I'll show you. Can you see? Can you see how thick the, the, the that batter is? Now, a lot of people love it like this. Good on ya. It certainly soaks up the vinegar. You know what? Tastes bloody lovely. And may I add, that is a fantastic example. Just, I prefer the light crispy batter. Now, onto the fish. Lovely looking fish. I believe it's cod, isn't it, Callum? Today? I think so. Wow. 
buttery, creamy, super soft, Moorish. Wow, look at that. Hope that's picking up on the... Uh... There it is, guys. The fruit of the sea. Oh, yeah. Rexham, that is the one. All right, time for a score. Wow. That was up and down. <laughs> Callum, what sort of fish and chip batter do you like? Uh, they're more crispy. Like. The how crispy you, one. How are you like? Yeah. yeah. I don't like the stodgy... I, I think a lot of that. people like it. It's, I think that's a... I genuinely feel like it's a 50-50 mix. I appreciate both styles. This one for me just holds a little bit more uh, weight to it. It does make the fish taste yummy, though. There is benefits to both, but it's quite heavy. Um, with that heaviness comes does come a bit of flavour, I suppose. I'd love the texture from the other type of batter. Uh, that's what I really look for, and certainly what we found on our way with Food Review Club, the elite places tend to swing that way as well. But that's just my opinion, I suppose. Um, all right, cool. If you're enjoying this video, like, subscribe, follow. If you're watching on Facebook, just share it because this sort of video, for businesses like this, in these sort of times, can do absolute wonders. It's a murderous time for a lot of these independents and it's our responsibility to try and show them in the best light possible. So, loved it. Time for a score. Uh, okay, I'm gonna creep into the sevens. 7.1, Wrexham, thank you for having us. Where should we go next? That was an absolute pleasure. I love you all. There we have it. Everland, fish and chips, pug shoots behind the camera, me in front of it. And that's all I've got to say about that. See us big daddy B, pugs and Matt on a mission. To find who's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen. Different places, different flavors, try different things. Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?